Hello guys and welcome back. It has been forever and a day. So guys, I recorded a wash day video for you. I used Imbues products, I used their sulfate free shampoo and also their intensive restoring mask. I made use of Cantu Skull Activator Cream and then also on Jackie's Ice Curls. So I will post pictures of these products as we go along with the video just so you can recognize them when you go to the store. Just keep in mind when you do buy products, um, keep to the range. Um, for example, you buy imbued shampoo, conditioner and their styling products. Then uh, just a disclaimer, I am not a hairstylist. I simply had a lot of time to read and to get to know the ins and outs of hair and curly hair specifically. So I just want to share that with everyone so that everyone can feel comfortable with wearing their hair curly. So feel free to share, comment and like this video so it can get to the correct people, the people that need it. And now for the video. So you will see that I'm going to wash my hair now. I'm going to make sure it's completely soaked and that there are no dry areas. Let's focus on the products of Imbue that I used just for a second or two. It is the Co-Liberating Sulfate Free Shampoo and then the Deep Intensive Moisturizing Mask. Um, it is suitable for all curl types. King's Curls Coils, it is also vegan friendly and cruelty free. And then Imbues Bottles are made from 100% recycled plastic, which is a major plus in my books. I really love the smell of the shampoo. It is not too sweet and overwhelming, which is kind of nice. You can also see it doesn't lather a lot. And I'm only applying it directly to my roots. I'm not focusing on my ends at all. Mm-mm. When washing my hair, I do like to like scrub my head with the shampoo. It's just relaxing and normally I also wait for like wash days. So I plan them in advance. So when I do wash my hair, then I take my time. When I'm done washing my hair, I'm going to make sure to wash out all the shampoo product to have a nice clean start when I'm working with the Curl Restoring Intensive Mask. The directions for use with the Curl Restoring Intensive Mask is After cleansing, distribute throughout damp hair. Generously apply section by section. Leave on for 5 to 10 minutes and rinse. So um, this is exactly what I'm going to do. I didn't um, 
section my hair though but I am making sure to get the product through my hair you'll see I kind of like to drag my hair out to the back just to make sure that the product goes through all the ends um, I don't really put it directly onto my scalp otherwise my scalp can get oily so I just make sure to push it through to the ends you can also see that I do apply a generous amount to, to my hair I keep the intensive mask in for 10 minutes and now I'm making sure to rinse that out as well. After rinsing my hair and making sure that all the mask product is off, I am squishing my hair. This can be to get out excess water or to recreate that curl clumps I really really love this product it is curly girl approved um, Cantu's moisturizing curl activator cream there's no sulfates silicones or parabens in here and um, I must say this product really lasts forever I bought it last year June when I was starting with my curly girl journey and the bottle is not even halfway yet this is also because I've got wavy hair if I use too much my hair looks um, grassy and you can see I use too much product so for my hair normally I just use a pea size amount and emulsify it in my hand palms When you squish to condition, you can actually hear that your hair has enough water in by the watery sound when you squish. Um, this is what you want to hear, otherwise your hair is too dry. When squishing my hair like this, you can actually see that my hair is taking the shape on of a wave. And I must really say, if I don't do this, my hair doesn't come out as curly as it would if I did do it. I have had on Jackie's eyes curls from the start. I love this product. I love the smell of it. It is amazing. I do find that if I only use the gel, my curls come out fluffy. But if I mix this gel with a mousse, my definition on my curls are amazing. Let's talk about technique. So I basically put the gel in my hands and glaze it over my hair and then I squish to condition again, making sure that the gel sticks onto the hair. I do find that at this stage when I put the gel in my hair it helps kind of leave my hair in the curl clumps that it formed. I had a video explaining what you can use to dry your hair with and one of the things was t-shirt material this is what I am using now and you will see that I use parts of the material that is not wet yet so it's actually like a long piece of material and I just make sure to use the parts of it that is still dry but you can also see how my hair goes curlier as I dry it out 
I'm showing you what I end up with after I applied all my products and now this is when my hair is dry. I find it difficult explaining to people that there's a cast created on your hair as it dries so it feels like sticks and that's why you have to take the cast out and you can do this by uh, squishing again and I like to put oil into my palms. This is really the best part of the whole experience wash day because all that time and effort you put in is going to make the difference now and you're going to see it. I don't know if you can see that it looks like my hair has just like been volumized overnight. As you can see there behind my back, that is all my products. So I just want to encourage you, make sure you have products that are for your hair. Otherwise you go on a shopping spree for products and it can end up being really expensive. Also, I believe if you go on Naturally Curly, you can do a quiz and that can help you to know what products to buy in the end. So I basically just feel for any parts of my hair that still feels like it has a cast in and then I try to see what side I want it to fall to but generally this is how I look afterwards. I just love it. That's it guys. Uh, remember to like, share and comment if you have anything else you would like to know. Drop it in the comment box.